Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today we're going to be making a pork and bramley apple in a cream sauce. This is very simple indeed. As you can see on the plate, I've got some onions, a touch of celery, some leeks. I've got some boneless pork there. That's a pork shoulder steak. At the back, I've got some bramleys there. I'm only going to use one of those large bramleys. And salt and pepper and some cream. That is it. Let's get moving. Okay, so I've got my pan here with the heat on. Oops. Touch of oil in there. I'm using olive oil. You could use vegetable or corn if you want. And we're simply going to just drop. There we are. Our celery, onions, our pork, and our leek into this pan. I'm going to pop a lid on this now, keep an eye on it, but I want to cook this for about, I think about five or six minutes and then we'll come back and take a look. In the meantime, I'll be preparing our Bramley apple, which is a cooking apple, it's quite sour. Um, I'll, be, I'll be peeling that and I'm going to cut that into some thin slices, so I'll be back in about five or six minutes. Okay, let's take a look here. vegetables are cooked really nicely, they're nice and soft. That pork has been cooked all the way through. I'm just going to pop in some salt and pepper. This is on a low heat. We're going to keep it on that. So Now, here goes our apple. This is our Bramley apple. A lot sort of tartar or sour than a regular apple. Just lay them on the top, cover that, and we'll be back in about four or five minutes. Okay, let's take a look there. As you can see, our apples have softened really nicely. I don't want to mix this now, just keep it as it is. I'm now just going to put on some single cream. Great. And again, I'm going to put the lid back on and come back in five minutes. See you then. Okay, let's take a look. That's just a few minutes. Fantastic. I'm turning the heat off now. That is absolutely perfect. This is a very simple dish to make. It's really delicious and ready to serve now. I'm just going to throw on a few chives. Maybe do it with a different herb if you want, or no herb even. But there you go. That's a beautiful pork and apple ready to be served to the table. See you next time. HowToCookGreatFood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.